So it's a great question, and uh, it's about uh, people who uh, were in the primary prevention realm and then suddenly had an event and died. And we've known for a long time that the presentation of coronary disease often is sudden death. Um, when it happens to a young person, it's particularly tragic. And personally, a good friend of mine, 40 years old, marathon runner, uh, family, uh, died suddenly of the same thing. And I searched myself carefully about how that could have been prevented. Uh, and so often these are unrecognized risk factors or lifestyle, but in this gentleman it wasn't any of that. So uh, it's very disturbing when that happens. Um, I would say though that most of the heart attacks and most of the events occur in people who have high risk. And those are people with established heart disease or what we call polyvascular disease, disease in more than one territory. And those are the patients who we focus more of our interventions on because the event rates are so much higher. So the reality is we don't lose a lot of young people to heart disease today, but the ones we do lose, it's extremely tragic. Now the question is what should we do? And I think the guidelines for uh, treating lipid disorders were released today, and they emphasized fundamentally lifestyle, and I still think that's where we should start. And there's a lot of young people with untreated risk factors such as inactivity, prediabetes, obesity, some even still smoke, this kind of thing, and I think we should focus there because that's where I think we can have the biggest impact without inducing pharmacotherapy. Now, there's evidence that there are genetic polymorphisms and other risk profiles that might be very interesting in finding these people who have a different risk than the standard risk factors. The problem is we're not quite there for mass screening. Uh, and if you do mass screening and you find a polymorphism of interest, how do you treat that? And should we just treat, start statins earlier? You know, these are questions that are still before us. And I think for today, um, I think these are tragic events that occur to young people, but we should focus on lifestyle and risk factors and realize that most of the heart disease and most of the deaths are in patients who are high risk and they're well known. And it's the under treatment of those patients that we should pay particular attention to.